my honeys, it is Simone Donise, and today I thought we would do like a little cook with me type video. I'm going to pair it with a holiday drink, but we are gonna start out by prepping our French onion soup. So I'll go ahead and list the items that you'll need for the French onion soup on the screen. But what you're gonna need is about six large red or yellow onions or about three pounds of onions. In this case, I use yellow onions. You're gonna need about four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to cook the onions in. Then you're gonna need two tablespoons of butter, a teaspoon of sugar, kosher salt, two cloves of garlic that is minced, eight cups of beef stock or chicken stock, a half a cup of dry vermouth or dry white wine. In this case, I got dry vermouth. I got the Dolan dry vermouth. I went with dry vermouth, not extra dry, not extra dry white wine, just dry. Um, and then two bay leaves, a tablespoon of fresh thyme, um, or a half a teaspoon of dried thyme. You can do a half a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper, two tablespoons of brandy if you like. I'm just using the EJ Brandy XO. Um, and then you can do eight slices of French bread or baguettes in this case. I'm gonna do both though. I just got like regular white French bread from my local store. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in the oven there and half make croutons and then the other half kind of keep like the round whole uh, slice of baguette, if you will. Uh, sorry, and then you need one and a half cups of grated Gruyere cheese. Um, and then you need Parmesan cheese to basically sprinkle on top and garnish to finish your dish. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm gonna start with the onions. As you'll see, I already have one here. I basically just did one white onion because I really like oniony sort of flavor. Note to self, use a bigger pan, pot, saucepan, whatever you wanna call it, use a bigger pan. So I have my bay leaves and my fresh sprigs of thyme here. It said a few, but I really like thyme, like love thyme. Um, so I did a few, um, but probably a little bit more than a few. And then I am going to use this Better Than Bouillon Roasted Beef Base. Um, and since they didn't have like my Swanson like I like, I just grabbed the Kitchen Basics. I'm gonna use more of the roasted beef base though because this has a richer beef flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up basically and make it into a stock base um, in this glass. And then once these are fully finished caramelizing back here, we'll go ahead and get to the next step which is just adding our stock in and you know, our dry vermouth and kind of getting the little bit of the burnt but caramelized onion off the base of the pan. I am using the Dolan dry vermouth. And it's just a half a cup. So I'm gonna take the half a cup and then just so you guys know also, this was the type of brandy that I selected. It's about I don't know, 12 bucks or so. Okay, so now that my onions are soft and kind of starting to be translucent, I have kicked up the heat. It says medium high, but because I feel like there's a lot of onions in this pan and not a lot of space, I kicked it up to about level eight, which is like high on the high, uh, higher medium high. So I've added my last little bit of butter to go on top and then I'm just going to be stirring this pretty often to make sure they don't burn, but they start to caramelize really well. So let's get to it.
just going to add my onions back in now. And then I'm also going to go ahead and add my thyme, bay leaves, and my beef stock. So here's my bay leaves and my thyme, like my sprigs of thyme. Firstly add my two cups of the roast beef stock. And then I'm just gonna add this other beef stock. So there's four cups, six cups. And then I'm going to add the eighth cup in slowly and then bring that to a simmer. All right, so now that this is all stirred, combined, we got our bay leaves, thyme sprigs, beef stock, garlic, everything else. I'm just stirring a little bit more to kind of just loosen up the onions. Just make sure we get the rich flavor of everything. Now we basically cover and simmer for about 30 minutes on a low simmer. So I would say this is probably about a low simmer right here. Now that we have our soup sort of simmering, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on our croutons um, and like toast our little whole rounds. So basically I just have like one long French baguette, you know, white bread, like French baguette from your local store. We also got multigrain, so I'm gonna make a little bit of each. I didn't really know how the multigrain was gonna go. Um, plus when I did the Instacart order, they gave me the wrong <laughs> bread, which was the multigrain, so. But we're gonna test each out and see how it goes. So I've got my oven heated up here at 425. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and basically just take like the same bowl that I used the onions in. A little bit of onion there, yummy. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna go ahead and basically like chop probably, I don't know, these two halves into cubes and then I'll keep this one half to slice um, for like the full baguette round. So let's do it. So now we're going to actually drizzle a little bit, like three to four teaspoons with butter and a little bit of olive oil mix. And I'm just gonna go ahead and toss that, give that a good toss. Don't necessarily want them soaked, but you want them coated. So that is smelling good. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of Himalayan salt. Then I'm gonna do a, bit, a little bit of pepper and then we're gonna do the same thing for our rounds. All right, so I have a baking sheet and I'm just got some parchment paper here. Just kind of sprinkle these on, spread them out a little bit. And then again, you're gonna bake them at 425 for about five to 10 minutes or, you know, till they're golden brown, crunchy, <laughs> like croutons. <laughs> While those are baking, I am going to put my couple of teaspoons of brandy in now, just because I am pregnant. So I wanna make sure that we give the brandy enough time for the flavor, but to cook off the alcohol. Normally you can just add a couple dashes at the end. And obviously I'm assuming like the heat and stuff would kind of simmer it out and cook it, but I just want to be sure. So I'm going to add my brandy in now. I'm just going to do like a tablespoon and a half and then a little tiny dash, if you will. Give that a good stir. And then back to simmering for just a little bit longer. I already grated the Gruyere cheese. Now I'm just gonna grate the Parmesan 
and the Asiago cheese. You don't have to do Asiago. I just like mine creamy, cheesy, delicious. So I'm gonna use a little bit of Asiago cheese as well. Now I know you're probably wondering, Simone, why do you have a casserole dish? And why did you shred the cheese in the casserole dish? Well, because I needed a holding place for the cheese. <laughs> but I don't have individual like French onion soup, little onion bowl or like uh, soup bowls to be able to bake in the oven. And with onion soup, we all know that the cheese is usually kind of brown, bubbly on top with the bread and everything else like that. So I'm going to ladle some of the soup into this casserole dish. I'm gonna sprinkle my Gruyere on first and then a little bit of my Asiago and then my Parmesan cheese on top. And then we're going to basically bake it at like 450 until the cheese is browned. So let's get to it. or so and then I'm gonna watch it technically you want to do it at 350 but I just need this kind of done because it's a process so we're gonna try 450 and then we'll come back at about five minutes what I'm gonna do is drop the oven down to about 350 I'm gonna bake these for five minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some cheese some of just the Gruyere cheese and like Parmesan and Asiago cheese mix that I did Oh, that's the soup. <laughs> so here is what the final look is. Obviously we like a little bit more cheese and croutons on ours. So I just added a little bit extra so that we can stir that in and eat it. We're gonna go ahead and eat here with the Caesar salad. Oh, I'm hungry. I know couple things I show, couple things I don't. I can tell you my problems. I can tell you my.